hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i will cover strength of metal this is part 1 this is for isro 2017 exams here most important is thin cylinder thin cylinder when r is greater than 10 times of t r is mean radius or inner radius t is the thickness Sigma C, circumferential stress or hoop stress. Sigma C value is it's equal to hoop stress. Its value is P D by two T. So many times asked in ISRO exemption, IES exemption, in GATE also 2-3 times they ask this question. And Sigma L is longitudinal or axial stress. Sigma L equal to PD by 40. One more thing is here. Once they asked in ISRO exemption, Sigma C equal to 2 times Sigma L. Or we can write longitudinal stress is half of the circumferential stress. Two things are important here. Maximum in plane shear stress and maximum shear stress or absolute maximum shear stress. The key words you have to check. In plane shear and maximum shear or absolute maximum shear maximum in plane shear stress is tau in plane is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 sigma 1 is maximum normal stress and sigma 2 is minimum normal stress or principal stresses. Sigma 1 is principal stress, sigma 2 also principal stress. They are not maximum or minimum stress, they are only principal stresses in different direction. Sigma 1 and sigma 2. Here, major principal stress is sigma c and minor principal stress sigma 2 is sigma l by 2 so if we calculate this one pd by 2t minus pd by 4t divided by 2 we will get pd by 8t so this formula is useful in calculation of maximum in plane shear stress and for maximum shear stress or absolute maximum shear stress at sigma 1 by 2 major principal stress by 2 or minor principal stress by 2 if they are like in nature if they are unlike in nature then sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 if you calculate this one sigma 1 this one also you can do sigma 1 you take sigma c sigma 2 you take sigma l sigma c is circumferential stress sigma l is longitudinal stress then you can get the value of maximum shear stress this one asked in get 2014 exam maximum shear stress value we have to calculate 14 or 15 then important is thin cylindrical strength we already got 
सिग्मा सी और सिग्मा वन इक्वल टू पी डी बाई टू टी सर्कम फरेंस एंट्रेस सिग्मा टू इक्वल टू सिग्मा एल लंगी चुड़ना स्ट्रेस इट्स पी डी बाई फोर टी सी सर्कम फरेंस एंट्रेस then circumferential strain longitudinal strain then change in diameter change in length and change in volume circumferential strain this is sigma c by e minus mu into sigma l by e directly i am giving the formula I am not explaining how it is come, how it came. So, if you put the values and you take common, P D by two T into one minus mu by two. Mu is our Poisson's ratio. so many times asked in is exams this formula and for longitudinal strain you just remember the formulas sigma l by e minus mu into sigma c by e If we put the values sigma l and sigma c, we will get P D by two T E all into one by two minus mu. So this is also important for change in diameter. Circumferential strain is responsible. और सर्कमफरेंस है स्ट्रेस इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल डेल्टा डी बाय डी तो सर्कमफरेंस है स्ट्रेन इट्स वैल्यू ऑलरेडी वी गोट पी डी बाय टू टी वन माइनस म्यू बाय टू एंड फॉर चेंज इन लेंथ डेल्टा एल बाय एल longitudinal strain p d by 2 t all into 1 by 2 minus mu both are important for change in diameter and change in length then volumetric strain it's two time change in diameter or circumferential strain plus change in length strain in length we can write it 2 into circumferential strain plus longitudinal strain this is very very important you can write it as strain in b so this one i think two times asked in isro exams and for other exams and also this is very very important volumetric strain equal to two times circumferential strain plus longitudinal strain next is thin spherical cells here only circumferential stress will act no axial stress or longitudinal stress sigma c value is p d by 40 but in case of thin cylinder sigma c value is p d by 2t then maximum shear stress maximum shear stress
sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2. If we calculate this one, here both sigma 1 and sigma 2 are same. Pd by 40 minus Pd by 40. So this value is 0. Then strain in any direction. All are same. So strain in any direction. Its value sigma c by e minus mu into sigma c by e. If we put the values. delta d by d strain in diameter p d by 40 1 minus mu which is very very important and for volumetric strain is in one direction then volumetric strain is 3 into delta d by d 3 into then we will get v equal to 3 by 4 PD by TE whole into 1 minus mu. This is also important. This is also important. This one so many times asked in IS exams. Huh? This one also they are asking for solving problems. Then volumetric strain for rectangular bar subjected to force in one direction only. Volumetric strain in equal to longitudinal strain minus 2 mu into longitudinal strain. Sigma v equal to del L by del L. 1 minus 2 mu subjected to force in one direction then volumetric strain of rectangular bar subjected to force in three directions volumetric strain equal to strain in x axis strain in y axis plus strain in z axis v equal to strain in x axis, strain in y axis, strain in z axis. Strain in x axis is 1 by e into sigma x stress in x axis minus mu into sigma y plus sigma z. y axis 1 by e sigma y minus mu into sigma x plus sigma z. z axis is 1 by e sigma z minus mu into sigma x plus sigma y. Then volumetric strain is sigma x plus sigma y sigma z sorry this is not sigma this is strain strain in x direction strain in y direction strain in z direction sigma represents stress only.
इट्स वन बाई सिग्मा एक्स प्लस सिग्मा वाई प्लस सिग्मा जेड माइनस टू मी इंटू सिग्मा एक्स सिग्मा वाई सिग्मा जेड सिग्मा एक्स सिग्मा वाई सिग्मा जेड बाई ई ऑल इंटू वन माइनस टू म्यू दिस फॉर्मूला इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स आई एस गेट आई एस फॉर सॉल्विंग कॉन्वेंशनल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल्सो दिस इज यूजफुल गेट ऑल्सो टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन दे मे आस्क You have to use this formula for unidirectional. For stress in subjected of um, if you take rectangular bar, volumetric strain which is subjected to one direction force, then if one direction force you this one zero, then this one zero, it will become. Sigma x by e one minus two mu. This one we already discussed. This is for one direction force subjected to one direction force. This one already discussed. Next is. volumetric strain in a cylindrical rod load in linear direction volumetric strain in a cylindrical rod load in linear direction so length will increase and diameter will decrease then volumetric strain Vehicle to del L by L because it's increasing minus two into del D by D. Del L by L is longitudinal strain. N delta d by d is strain of diameter so this is important volumetric strain equal to longitudinal strain minus 2 into strain of diameter this is very very important directly they will ask in theory question four options they will give volumetric strain in a cylindrical rod when load in linear direction option a b c d they will give out of option you have to choose the correct answer then thermal stress strain due to change in temperature change in temperature this is equal to alpha into change in temperature delta t or thermal strain we can write del l by l alpha delta t 
और चेंज इन लेंथ इज अल्फा डेल्टा टी इंटू ऑरिजिनल लेंथ और स्ट्रेन टी और डेल्टा टी हियर वी नो स्ट्रेस बाय स्ट्रेन इज ई सो वी कैन राइट इट एज थर्मल स्ट्रेस बाय ई इक्वल टू अल्फा इंटू डेल्टा टी और थर्मल स्ट्रेस डायरेक्टली वी कैन राइट अल्फा डेल्टा टी ई दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट दिस वन एंड दिस वन चेंज इन लेंथ एंड थर्मल स्ट्रेस बोथ आर इम्पोर्टेंट इन सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम एंड फॉर थ्योरी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो दे आर आस्किंग वन मोर थिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट हियर If the bar is free to expand, free expansion, no barrier is there. Then thermal stress is zero. This one so many times asked in IAS, GET, and ISRO exams. Sigma T is. थर्मल स्ट्रेस और टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेस टी और डेल्टा टी हट ओवर यू कैन टेक चेंज इन टेम्परेचर थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग माई वीडियो थैंक यू